Th- mm. There's something that was told before Cyberpunk launched too. Uh, and that's something that you talked about because you made the decision to make the cyberpunk F- uh, FPS a first person shooter right mm, mm. and w- you came from The Witcher 3 it was a third person game and a lot of people talked and actually I-, I would love to see it as well but you decided to be a first person shooter game so everybody was talking how should get a ter- third person shooter yeah. mode mm. or like you put your clothes but you can't see them usually mm. uh, and that's something that you it's a massive change to make. You yeah. can't make that change. And when games do something like that, usually one of the oh, one of the versions not right. Like GTA Five when launched only third person, but then we came with a PS4 and Xbox One. They have a first person shooter mode, and it yeah. was not cool. It was not good at all. Mm-hmm. And most games, uh, the perspective changes too much, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But so I know that you can't change that. But why? Do you, you decided to change from no. third person to first and person? Do you I guys love this uh, thought of changing that on the 2.0 update? Uh, uh, also, great, great question. Uh, awesome. I mean, okay, so this is a huge topic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I, I will try to be brief and then, you know, we, we can go into detail if you want to. So, um, and if I say I will be brief, I will probably talk a lot, but <laughs> I will try to be brief this Fine. time. So, the thing was like, uh, I, I think Dave, you, you actually really hit the nail in the head a moment ago when you said that you believe that the game should be what um, developers believed mm-hmm. in their vision. Like in short, that was really it, you mm-hmm. know? Like very early, very early working on Cyberpunk, we realized that we want to tell the story of, of you being like really immersed in the game, you know? And you really being in the shoes of your character. And uh, the whole story, and at, at that point, we already had like a draft of the story. So we knew that there's going to be a relic. There's going to be a uh, Johnny Silverhand mm-hmm. that comes in. You know, that the game is going to be uh, about the survival and about terminal illness. We knew that this perspective that you have is going to be incredibly important. Mm-hmm. And at the very, very early discussions, we were like, okay, but if it's a third person, it doesn't really it doesn't really work that well because like when you're in the shoes of the character and you cannot change it, mm-hmm. there's only a couple scenes in the game that are in third person at the very end. Again, don't want to spoil the game mm-hmm. here, but there's, it's very deliberately picked like that. And uh, we thought, okay, for the story, for what we want to do, we would really want to uh, keep you in first person because third person just does, does not work that well with the threats and everything we wanted to build. That was one thing. Another thing was like, we were very conscious that we're building like a new IP, right? A new game from scratch and so on. And that immersion of that game, you know, that world was incredibly important to do right. You know, a lot of people were saying that after Witcher 3, that we based a lot of Witcher 3 world on the books from Andrzej Sapkowski. And that's true, of course. So we didn't have to do much lore work, you know, and it was so much easier. And to some extent it was. But we've been actually putting a lot of work into which world to really make it flesh out. Yeah. But in Cyberpunk, the, the task was so much larger. There's so many more things to handle. You know, all of the brands, you know, of the clothing, of the guns, of the weapons, of vehicles, all of that, uh, of the world, you know, mm-hmm. art styles. Designing it in a way that is very immersive, we felt that first person really works better to just present it, you know, and put you in that world and really feel it. You know, and those were like, I would say the main things. Another thing was that, um, that came from our early, like I would say R and D. So research and development, when we were doing the tests and trying to figure out, you know, can we actually do this first person perspective mode better, Mm -hmm. do it better in a way that you can really have something that we call body presence. Right. So I'll give you an example, really simple one in cyberpunk. A rule is that if you use an interaction to sit on a chair, what happens, you don't just sit on a chair. You have a movement coming first from your arm. So your hand reaches first. You see your arm mm-hmm. that leans on something. And then you actually put your four, 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 full body forward. Mm-hmm. And you sit down. And when you sit, you see your feet. You see your body. You see that you're leaning on something. There's always body in the context of what you're doing mm-hmm. every single time. And again, maybe as a player, you don't really pay that much attention to it. But the result of that immersion that you're feeling that you're really there 
is the result of body presence, the body presence work. So all that work was done because we figured during the R&D phase of our of Cyberpunk that actually, you know, if we put more work into this and flesh this out well, it actually feels really good, you know, to be there in, uh, in that uh, first person. And, you know, the quest that I was working on for Cyberpunk uh, the pickup, you know, the one when you're going with Royce and Dum Dum to pick up the mm -hmm. flathead, you know, yeah. in the meat, meat factory, right? That was one of the first ones when we were like happy with the way how the scenes really turned out when it comes to like body presence, but also showing the drama, right? There's this moment I remember when Royce actually hits that gate at the back with his hand and then you have, and he comes in really dynamically towards you, puts a gun to your head, right? And you see it in the first person and yeah. it's just so, like you feel it so strong, right? Especially that, of course, you know, the music, there's a music spike that's something that in the, in the music you call a stinger. So a stinger, it's the moment when someone like puts a gun to your, to your head and the music goes, oh! Like mm -hmm. up, you know, there's this moment of, of music suddenly just raises you and you feel it. That was like a first quest really in the pickup when we felt, okay, this is working. Like we feel that this is yeah. the way you should put it together. Um, and I think those are like main reasons. Oh, and you, uh, you Phoenix, you asked a question about the um, uh, first person perspective in, in uh, 2.0. Not really, no, because it would be such a, it would be such a far away sort of step Mm -hmm. from from the core of the game mm -hmm. uh and from the core and, and core of the game here i mean specifically the story yeah. the the characters johnny silverhand you know the story about the relic that wouldn't really work yeah. when we were working on the car combat for 2.0 there are moments right when you're like in third person when you're in the car right when you can shoot around and so on so that was important for us to be able to to retain this that you can when you are playing uh, in the car in third person you can still have a combat in third person, you know, you can even like, you know, get a katana when you're on motorcycle, drive around and slash like the tires or something. That totally is working in a third person, uh, third person perspective. But that is a consequence of the fact that that was already in the cars for the driving mm -hmm. because we felt that yeah. for the for just better UX of the player, this should be there. But that was pretty much the only exception really that we kept and, and retained. Yeah. So the cars, uh, the cars are in third person uh, and the, the motorcycles. Are, yeah. yeah, absolutely. You, you did that because the, well, I, I, I usually, I, uh, first person is fine for me, shooters and stuff. But when I'm driving cars, I mm -hmm. don't like first person yeah. at all. Or horses. Oh. Or, uh, anything or horses, like yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. So you, when, when you decided to not do uh, only first person in cars, was because you want to show the cars or you think the gameplay was better yeah. in third person with the cars? Yeah, because the, the interior of the cars are amazing. Yeah. 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 And that's why it's uh, in first person. Yeah. I mean, so, so a couple things. Uh, like, uh, the answer is kind of yes to mm -hmm. what you said. So yeah, we wanted to showcase the the cars and the world as well. And I think that was more of a factor just than just the car. Mm -hmm. So having the further mm -hmm. perspective, because I think in Cyberpunk we have four different cameras between uh, yeah. between which you you can yeah. switch. Uh, so that allows you to see a bit more of the world and just be immersed yeah. in that. So that was more of a factor than just the cars. However, of course, seeing a car and those cars are incredible. We have like 80 something cars in Cyberpunk. It just looks incredible, right? When you can look around, you know, how it looks. Mm -hmm. But the UX, so user experience, mm -hmm. you know, how well it plays, you know, how well it plays also with combat. That was also an important factor. So uh, I would say that those were two main mm -hmm. Uh, I would say reasons why it's not uh, yeah. like this.